What's up everyone? Today we have our HMD Pulse Pro to test how easy for us to open and repair your phone on your own without uh, sending this to a technician. There are some parts that is available online that you can purchase if in any case these parts suddenly gave up. So now we, you can purchase the battery, the charging board, the vibration motor, I think, the screen and the frame, and also the back cover. Okay, so let's now go ahead and try to open this phone. So first, let's remove the SIM tray. Okay, there it is. Actually, not there. Okay, we have this. Now, the next guide is to separate the back cover. Luckily, we already have the tools to open this phone. So, as per instructions, we have to pry it at the side. So, let's check. How can I pry it at the side? I don't see any gap. Okay. Hmm. So it says in the instructions to do this. But okay, this is Let's use a new one. And I don't see any way of there. So seems like what you need to do is just push it at the side and from there just slide it okay we'll slide it i think we need to use some of this to ensure they remain open okay It is not easy. Okay, wait. I'm having trouble separating this part. There. Okay, so now let's move up. Okay, there. So, what's the next instructions? So, it says, carefully flip your phone over to the back cover facing up. Facing up. Lift the back cover of the frame and flip it over to the left edge of your phone laying the cover flat on your work surface so there okay yeah so probably with the proper tools like this takes five or less than five minutes to open it so what's next so be careful not to puncture the battery with your screwdriver. Use Phillips screwdriver to remove the 9mm, 3.6mm long screwdriver secured motherboard. Okay. So it's asking. 
making what to remove this part remove the motherboard okay so let's remove the motherboard and choose okay let's choose what parts and here uh, I think this would do. Okay. Let's put it here. What I've noticed is the they have the same size as screwdrivers or screw rather. These So it's asking for tweezers. So four. And then what we're gonna do is the step eight. Step eight, okay. So it says step eight. Oh, okay. So we have to remove the rest. Now, if you're in United States or in Europe, or especially in Europe, you won't actually have any difficulty purchasing the parts. But in, if you're in United States, most of the parts are actually sold out or out of stock. So, good luck on actually buying the parts for a self-repair but in UK there is no shortage when it comes to the parts so have I removed everything that I need to remove okay so let's put there Hands guys, I don't have any experience opening a phone or replacing it, so it's going to be a good example if you can really do it on your own or not. The question is, you can separate this for winning the ribbon. Oh, I think there's one here. Uh, what's this? Oh, yeah. Eh, that's the reason why we're having difficulty removing it. So, one more screw. Remove. There. Now. And open there. That's one. Second is how can we? Next is the remove the motherboard shell and connect the black But so we disconnect. So we're going to disconnect the battery. Oh, wait. I have a different one. I need to do this one. Okay. There. You've disconnected it. What else do we need to disconnect? So the battery. Okay. And for the ribbon. There. Actually. 
Okay, it's easy. Now next, remove the back cover, which we've already done. What's next? Oh, we can't do this one. Okay. Okay, let's pull this off. Say spill this part. Okay. I don't think that's the one that we need to peel. I was actually looking for a placement for this, the this part, the film. Uh, but unfortunately, um, just giving you an example for this. That's this one. Uh, this one. This is the one that we're removing. So once we remove that, I don't have any replacement for that because in the United States, it's out of stock. The only thing that is available for in stock for us to be able to purchase is see where is that one this one so we have this one only five actually it's been like that for like more than a month this is based in united states website guys it for i fix it now if you want to like buy the other parts there most most of them is also out of majority of them is out of stock So let's remove it. There. So what did they? So okay, peel. Oh, so you really have to peel this off at the side. It should be at the side. It says here, but it's difficult to remove. So if you remove it here, okay. There. Okay. Now, the next step is okay. with one hand fold, what not? Okay, I think we can reuse this. Okay. I think we can. Am I doing it right? Okay, I'm doing it right. So it says here. Okay. Do I need to remove other things here? No. Okay. Okay. So remove this too. And pull it. Oh. Okay. I'm holding it. Am I not putting enough papers? Or what? Mm. Okay. Some technicians may come across with this. So guys, don't make a fun of me because I'm not expert of this. Okay, there. Oh, unfortunately, we can't reuse this because the glue is no longer there. I mean, I think it's still going to stick. But, yeah. Okay, so technically, following with this guide, for you and me, so as long as you follow this guide, you would be able to do this probably in less than 10 minutes. Or replacing the battery parts. Now let's check what else. So, okay, let's check. Let's go back. Now, battery DC components, ports. So, port one, we have actually one stock available. So, this is the charging port. Yeah, charging port. Charging port, so. 
let's check if they have the same sizes yep they are the same sizes good job so i would commend hmd for that having same sizes of screw so that you don't have to remember which one is which especially if you have short memory at least you no longer have to create a map where this is screw okay Now, let's remove this QC sticker. Oh, okay. Too bad. Okay. That's goner. That's a goner. So, our warranty is definitely now voided. No, wait. What's the next step? Okay, let's check. Okay, we have the same steps. Step 13, step 14, 15. Okay, so we remove this just by a finger. Nice. Okay. Next is to remove this part. How? Oh, oh, this one. Okay. No. No. We do that. We can't do that. Huh. Wait. There. Disconnected this. What's next? Next. We disconnected it already. So next, this one. Okay. So we need to use this side. So I'm a lefty, so I'm having difficulty doing this. Because the instructions says you have to do it on your right side. Oh, okay. Actually, you can. There. So that's disconnected. Now what else? So you have to pry this side. Okay, so now do this one. Here's the tip. Okay. Okay. All right. So just this side. And it should be on business. Oh. This is it. This is it. Okay, so this small tiny charging power is how much is gonna cost you for this port? Uh yeah, night. Okay, it's fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents for this. Now, uh, what else? So we we remove the charge uh, the charging port. Let's check what else we can remove. Okay, uh, so HMD calls for parts. Now we so this. This, this basically back cover, so we've already removed the back. Now let's go with the screen. 
Yeah, only once one stock available in the United States. So now let's check how easy to remove the screen. Okay, so first instruction. Okay, so we're done removing this cable and basically this. So we're now at this. Pull the antenna cable. Okay, we pulled that already. Step 15. Now this one, what is this? Camera. Okay, so this is the camera okay so we're in this point step 17 so it says to use the plunger to pry up and bottom right corner okay i think this is the most difficult part i can't just pry it Oh, it's pushing it in, but I can't. It says there, okay. Let's try the other way around. Ah, can't. Let's maybe try this. There, okay. Sim ejector tool is way better use removing this motherboard because you see this it's already bent so it's pretty much useless now okay oh okay so we have thermal paste. So it says blah blah blah. What else? Mm -hmm. So cleaning the thermal paste and whatnot. Well, technically, I don't need to. So actually, what else do we need to remove? So after, let's say you've cleaned and remove that thermal paste. Now, hopefully this still works. Uh, use a plunger to pry up the earpiece speaker. Earpiece. Or you could just use the finger. Yeah, you could just use your finger. And then use tweezers to carefully remove the layer of the foam adhesive from the perimeter. Okay. Oh, okay. So there is an adhesive for this. All right. I'm not going to do anything with that. Now, the bottom, well, we've already done that earlier. So it's asking us to remove this with the tweezers again. Where's that? Where's my tweezer? Uh, you're right. It's, uh, let's use this. Motor isn't budging or five serene. Ah, uh, so you need an ISO profile for this. So I'm not gonna do that. So. 
Now the loudspeaker. Say it again. Speaker. Problem is my plunger are bent. So I let's try this again. Hopefully we're not gonna damage this. Okay, wait. Is it is it disconnected? Is it disconnected? Wait, it is. So Mm. So there's also an adhesive to this. Oh, yeah. There. There's an adhesive. Then what else? So you have, we have to remove this actually. Why? I don't know. We've remove this part so, okay we'll put the battery back let's see it's asking us to remove part there okay so key now what else? Step. Move the battery. We did. Oh, so you need to completely remove the battery to detach this. Okay. No biggie. Put it back. Okay. So we peel this off. And then fill it. Okay, that's sticky one. Okay, so we've done that. What else? Never reuse damage or deform deform bat. Now you're left with the screen frameless assembly well not necessarily because we did remove this oh so actually all you need to do is just remove this everything and the replacement is for the entire frame okay so I'm not gonna remove this because it has its adhesive I don't have an adhesive for that. Overall, my experience of disassembling this phone is actually not bad. So any person who would do self-repair for this brand is actually not going to have any difficulty of opening and replacing the, what do you call it? this this uh power port if in any case you need to replace your back cover so you can replace it the battery so yeah so my only problem is that if you're in asia okay so if you're in asia then you're out of luck okay unlike with ifix uk so let's check iFix UK for replacement parts. Okay. So iFix UK replacement parts for HMD worse. Android. 
let's find HMD. HMD. Uh, more products, more products, pixel, more products. Yeah, there's Cypher. Okay, let's I fix UK HMD. There. So for the oh so in UK it's out of stock unfortunately. So screen frame. Uh Let's check. Um, let's check from battery. Battery film. We have. Wow, it's also out of stock now. Last time I've checked, these were available. Let's go take yeah, the pre cut adhesive. So we have. What else? $2.99. $2. I mean, two, $2.99 euro. Sponger, tweezers, only thermal paste, position. Okay, what else would be HMD? Store. Shop parts. Let's check. Smartphone parts. Here, HMD. Finally. So HMD, where's the HMD? HMD parts, model, let's find the model, not the pulse, but a probe. So back cover, let's see if they have in stock. Yes, they have. They have that in stock. Now, let's see this. So, we have in stock as well. What about the battery? It's one of the most important one. Battery, we have in stock. Uh, port, charging port. Yep, we have charging port available. Let's, how about this one? out of stock okay and the screen um, that's out of stock as well well i guess people are actually breaking their phones or dropping their phones and having this we're out of stock of screen so that only means that people are either buying the replacement screen because they broke it or also probably some technicians hoarding these parts. So, well, it is what it is. But in the U.S., you're out of luck with most of the parts, actually. Now, in Asia, I wouldn't recommend buying this in Asia because I talked to HMD. So because I purchased their phone to one of the online platform in in the Philippines. So one seller, well HMD actually, I asked HMD if I can buy a replacement battery. And unfortunately, they replied that they cannot actually they don't have any parts for sale and now with the other platform I've also tried to get in touch with them which is Nokia I think um, but I'll just flash it on the screen with the conversation with Nokia so unfortunately um, they're not also selling but they are they can replace it instead so if you have a broken battery or whatnot, then they would be able to replace it. But uh, bear in mind that they won't just replace it. They won't just take your words 
separate. So meaning is that you will do or uh, they will ask you to do some series of tests. Uh, you'll do a series of tests for before they replace it. Okay. And that's gonna be a lot of series of tests, guys. Yeah. Okay, so I guess putting this back is more difficult than removing these parts. So anyway, yeah, so if you're in Asia, make sure that you will actually contact first the manufacturer if you would be able to buy a parts just in case that you broke it because if you drop it and whatnot, that's definitely out of warranty. And only way to do that is for you to uh, ask to buy the replacement. If it's in warranty, it's covered by warranty, they would be able to replace it but most likely you have to buy it okay and buying it in asia to whatever platform it there's no way for you to buy these parts it's either you can only buy it in i fix it in us which majority of the parts is not available your chances are in i fix it uk okay and not all people would be able to buy on these websites for the parts alone um usually people in asia doesn't really have credit cards to do regular transactions compared to those people in first world country. So I would suggest just to avoid HMD itself as a whole product if it's if you're in Asia. But if you're in UK, that's great. Parts are available, not all of them. So but you just keep uh just you just have to watch the website or visit the website every now and then for available parts or you could just go to the nearest technician which de defeats the purpose of self repair the only thing uh, the only thing i think that you would go there is because the parts is not available okay and your only hope are those technicians and they'll do the job for you finding these parts and whatnot instead of you united states I guess even if you're in the United States, you're still going to have difficulty getting your own parts. So technician is still going to be your best option. Other than that, in Asia, no, just avoid it as a total. Um, okay. Now, even the platform even asked me to just find it, uh, just browse the website to find the parts, which I know where I can find the parts. They even suggest to use the online platform where I got the phone. But when you search for the parts, there's nothing to be found about HMD. So that's all, guys. That's our tear down, I guess. So overall, repairability, I guess it's, it's good. It only takes a few minutes to tear everything up. I hope this will help you. And thank you for watching and you have a good day. Until next time.